Hi, I'm Joe Zapecki of the Small Business Administration. Welcome to Small Business Week 2010. <laughs> I know that we are going to continue to help small businesses grow their business, create jobs, and help America small be successful. Small businesses are the economic engine in our communities. If businesses don't come back and they're not employing people, it doesn't matter how well the rest of the response went. And especially we, we salute the individuals here today. Their efforts have been nothing short of remarkable. 86% of American small businesses surveyed reported their export sales are growing faster. Small businesses are absolutely essential to our foreign policy as we work to expand economic growth, increase trade, strengthen ties with other nations, and create opportunities for people here at home. So looking out for small businesses by helping them with funding to stay afloat. Many experts say it is one way to help fix a broken government, but some business owners say they haven't seen a dime. So what is the government waiting for? Our Ted Rollins explains. We're in Petaluma, California on Kentucky Street, which is lined with small businesses. A lot of these business owners say that they are struggling to stay open, that it's that bad. They also say they're upset with the lack of support they think they're getting from the federal government. Every conceivable At the star-struck boutique, on. Melanie Stamler says she's barely hanging on. Business is so bad she can't pay this month's rent. She's disgusted with politicians, including the president, for talking up small businesses but doing nothing, in her opinion, to help them. I'm livid. I am. I'm. I'm shocked that the big bankers are bailed out and we're stuck footing the bill. Um, it's just not right. Up the street at the BC Sport Bike Store, owner Andrew Christensen says government to him means payroll taxes, paperwork, and empty rhetoric. Politicians, so they're going to say whatever to help themselves out. And practically all of them promise to help small businesses. We should start where most new jobs do, in small businesses. But the reality is it takes both the White House and Congress to get anything accomplished in Washington. And many entrepreneurs believe that the federal government is fundamentally broken when it comes to dealing with small businesses. This is Lloyd Chapman. He's the president of the American Small Business League. And he says he has been battling Congress and the federal government for years on behalf of entrepreneurs. Chapman is trying to get Washington to fix a specific problem many believe is costing small businesses millions of dollars a year. By law, 23% of all federal contracts are supposed to go to small businesses, but loopholes allow some of the money to go to large corporations. The Inspector General of the Small Business Administration has called the problem the most serious management and performance challenge facing the SBA. In 2008, then-candidate Barack Obama acknowledged the issue, saying in a statement, quote, it is time to end the diversion of federal small business contracts to corporate giants. Chapman estimates that last year, more than $10 billion that should have gone to small businesses ended up going to large corporations. And fixing the problem, he says, could help unemployment. This is more money and would create more jobs than anything that President Obama or Congress have proposed so far. Chapman says the Small Business League has been trying to get Congress to do something about this issue for eight years. There does seem to be some recent progress. A few weeks ago, Senator Mary Landrew of Louisiana said that, quote, by increasing contracts to small businesses by just 1%, we can create more than 100,000 new jobs. 
In the House, there's a bill ready to go that would potentially solve the problem with a long list of co-sponsors, but it is stuck in committee. I'm just so tired, just like so many people. I'm so disappointed, but it's time that that needs to change. Through sheer grit and determination, these companies have weathered the recession and they're ready to grow. Whether the federal government will help them grow, or in some cases stay open, remains to be seen. Ted Rollins, CNN, Petaluma, California.